Well, Robbo, perhaps even more importantly than the Gold Coast is looking a bit further forward. We've got the uh, centenary uh, Commonwealth Games, which will be uh, what we're proposing uh, in the epicentre of the world in Newcastle. Well, they started in Hamilton, Mossy, and uh, that's where we are right here. We paid our, we made a pilgrimage to Hamilton, uh, but Hamilton, Ontario is where the first games were in 1930. We got a Hamilton in Newcastle, and we reckon that's where the centenary games should be held. Uh, so Hamilton 2030 on back there in Newcastle. I think there's got it's got a lot going for it. And if we just have a look, Mossy, uh, yep. there's there's already some work being done around the place. I want to ask us. Um, I know you had a chance to get out there before. Um, have they got a track? Yes, Mossy, as you can see here, they've got the lovely blue track. It's a little bit scratchy. It needs a bit of work, but you can see here they're fixing up the amenities now. Um, some of the outer facilities, they'll all get sorted out, and um, we'll get something probably looking pretty similar to Hamden, I'd say. What about Rugby Sevens? Easy. That's done. That's across the road at number two sports ground, current home of the Wanderers, um, and it's a great facility. That's very new, $7.5 million facility. That's ready to go for the Rugby Sevens. Netball is uh, huge you know, for Australia. We just won it here in the... Double X Games, have we got any facilities there? Yeah, we do. National parks, the most netball courts uh, outside of a metropolitan area in all of New South Wales. Uh, take your pick. We've got all sorts of courts there to choose from. What else have we got across all the sports, Robbo? Mossy, um, if we look at lawn bowls and, you know, Kelvin Kirko, who knows where he'll be um, slotting into the team at that stage at 2030, but we've got the Hamilton Bowling Club. Now, it's been in a little bit of disrepair recently, but as you can see here, work's being done to restore it as we speak also, um, and this is important work being done. Mossy, let's not forget Hamilton South, um, and down there is the velodrome. They've just recently upgraded some of the track there, and they'll be doing some more work on that. There's kids um, coming from all around the world. Look Bravo. at them. Yeah, and, and a... they want to cycle. They also want to ride their BMX, their skateboards around. It's, it's supposed to be the fastest velodrome, uh, I understand, in the whole universe. Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's good. Merryweather High School is just uh, uh, down the road from it. It's a school of excellence in cycling, uh, which is great. Badminton, we've got that covered as well. You see the lovely uh, grey brick badminton courts here. So, Mossy, just, that's just, just a, a quick example of what's happening already in preparation for the 2030 bid. Uh, transport's always a big issue. Easy, we got that covered. Hamilton train station, and there's also the bus depot there yeah, as well. absolutely. And uh, as part of the games here was a free train agreement. So yes. if you had a ticket or you looked like an Australian, oh. they gave you a free train. And that, my friends, is fact. The other thing that'll be happening at the Hamilton Games is the walks will be back. I'll lock that in now. All the walking community, you're more than welcome because as the sign says here, take a walk through Hamilton. Um, and so we welcome all the walkers there. Mossy, I think it'll happen. Uh, 2030, it's, you might say it's a little bit far away. I don't think seven years is long enough. That's usually when uh, it's decided. Um, so look, I reckon, let's put this bit out there. It's the only one on the table at the moment, so we're in the front running.